it's Sam here with Power Train. So I was talking about meal prep a few, uh, few sessions ago, however you want to look at it. Uh, right now I'm going to talk about how to set up a plate, right? So portion control. A lot of times talking to clients, talking to friends, uh, you know, as a fitness instructor, as a fitness trainer, as a coach, when we enter the building, and those of you out there can attest to this, when you enter a building or a party or something like this and people know you're involved with fitness, what's the first thing they talk about? Fitness. I can't seem to lose this extra 10 pounds. I really like working out, but I don't know how to do it. What is healthy? Why don't eat any carbs? And then you go into work mode and we go into work mode simply because we love what we do and we want everybody to feel good and have high functioning bodies, brains, minds, spirits. So when we come down to our food planning and we come down to portion control, I want you to think of something, um, the easiest way to kind of understand what should be on your plates. When you look at your hand, yeah, I want you to look at your hand in sections. So. The palm of your hand is gonna be your protein. So the size of the palm of your hand should be the amount of protein that's on your plate. This is a serving size for one meal. The next thing, your starches, your carbs, uh, healthy ones, not the french fries, you wanna think of a cup of them, okay? So you're gonna cup your hand here, that'd be like a cup of rice, some potatoes, um, oatmeal, things like that, so a cup of that. Then you want to put your hand into a fist and think of this as your vegetables, alrighty? So now I have my meat or my protein, however you get your, your source of protein for my vegetarians out there. Your starches, so I would scoop into that. Your vegetables is your fist. And then your fats is going to be like the tip of your thumb. So think of your oils, your peanut butters, things like that that you want to think of. So hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of how to set up your plate. And then you can see it and you only eat one plate. Yeah, we don't need to go back and hit the seconds and the thirds. If you're on a budget, that second meal can be your meal for tomorrow, right? So not only are we thinking of our bodies not being overfed and having to break down all of this food, which it's not gonna be able to break it down. Yeah, it's gonna start storing stuff as fat and things like that. So then we wanna think of that second meal that we wanna move into the next day or into the evening. Chew your food nice and slow, put the fork down in between bites, eat with people that you wanna to talk to, stay off your social media, really enjoy your food so that your food is going in and it's being absorbed in all of the parts that we need and by the time we're done, half an hour later, I know it sounds crazy because we're a society of productivity, we can't take a break to eat, we gotta eat on the run, eat in the car, um, chew your food, relax, enjoy some conversation with people and stop rushing through it. It will also help you with your bloating and with you know, feeling lethargic, feeling like you're, you're, not, you're not moving right, you're tired. So chewing your food is extremely important with that plate uh, portion control. And then also budgeting, you'll have more meals throughout the week. If you like what I have to say, click below, make a comment, subscribe, and head into our channel of Powertrain.